Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone and tonight we have made our way down to one of my favourite Halloween events in the UK. We are here at Fear at Avon Valley. That's right, last year myself and Kieran, who's just behind, came here for the very first time and since then we've built a fantastic relationship um, with the park. Um, to the point where we're now filming some of their video content and we were actually here last night to film the very first night but tonight is the press night and we are here we bought all the boys um, for some of their very first visits yeah. RGDs the main character. has never ever been here it's, same I've never been ever best friend I've been to best event oh, already no, no, okay. <laughs> these lanyards are beautiful they are they really yeah. are great um, so yeah, we've got Archie, Arch Nemesis, Eddie, Lee, and as I said, Kieran as well. And yeah, they've really treated us tonight. We've got some lovely lanyards, and myself and, and Kieran oh, have got oh, on. Yeah, got the old, go uh, on. Got the, uh, got the merch on. some jumpers earlier some on in the year. Yeah, with the Ouija boards. So we're repping. So yeah, very excited for tonight. I won't even talk yet, because first of all, we've been greeted by a clown. So let's head on in. Well, yes, straight into let's head on in. <laughs> 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 Oh, what the hell? Go behind him. Yeah. Oh, we're good. We're good. All good. So far. Oh. Oh, mate. No, oh, mate. Oh. Oh, no. food. I don't like these subtles. Hi, Mama. I don't like them. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 And here we go. Oh, it's it's very nice little portal in. Like a <laughs> so yeah, you two boys have been here before, right? Yeah, I've been, been here before. And Arch, you were here last night helping oh, out, but it's beautiful. you haven't properly experienced the mazes, no, right? I've been in with a light, yeah. so I'm excited to see in the dark. But yeah, tonight. here we are at Fear. They won the best Green Park Award at last year's um, Scarecon Awards. And there are some fantastic mazes here with the brand new one called The Core, which, um, oh boy, it blew our minds last night. So I'm very excited to see all of these boys' reaction. And of course, we've got the exorcism as well, which um, me and Kieran have gone completely spoiler free all year. Yeah, so it's been doing a lot on it, and we just like keeping on this because it won't be a surprise. So that's a surprise for us. But yeah, very, very excited for tonight. It's always a fantastic event. So here we go, boys. Very excited. Eddie's back. Let's go. So we've headed straight over to the brand new maze for this year, just because we don't want these boys to have it spoil what happened inside. But I think as soon as we go through this door, they might get a good idea. Are you excited, boys? Wait. <laughs> seven. Seven, seven, seven. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, Eddie. Come on in. Come on in. Uh, can I get a 10, please? <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I've just been given some waders. All I know is that I feel like I'm going to troll through some water and that's it. <laughs> you have to be joking. It's surely still a joke at this point. This is a prop, right? So yeah, the boys are, are getting their outfits on. No, you don't, you don't. So yeah, as I said, this is the brand new maze. And uh, yeah, once you queue up, you will be given your own pair of waders. We have wellies and everything. The boys no, don't no, know no. why yet. Oh, the company. And yeah, you put your shoes into a little themed bag because we are going into the department of sewage and waste. But yeah, the boys are all getting their waders on. They don't know what's coming. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited to see their reaction to this. <laughs> Prediction before you go in. I think we'll be walking in puddles. <laughs> <laughs> You're excited. <laughs> Prediction before you go in. I actually reckon we're gonna go mine for some Bitcoin in there, mate. We're actually going down the mine. Why? Why? 
I'm Predic for a journey to the sewers. Prediction before you go in? Predictions? Yeah. Who knows? I have no clue at all. You're excited. We can't wait. We can't wait for this. this Honestly, is... we walked through it yesterday and we were just mind blown. So seeing these boys' reaction is going to be a pleasure. That first scene is a special scene. <laughs> That. That's sick, I loved it. <laughs> oh, so good. I can't, I can't quite pro. I'm literally 24 frames behind. <laughs> Why? What? what happened, Deeves? <laughs> Why? <laughs> right, so big spoilers coming up. If you're coming here, I'd recommend just skipping forwards because you don't want to know what's going on in there. But essentially in that maze for the first time in the uk you go into deep water <laughs> multiple times throughout the attraction it sounds like you're joking yeah. you actually do like you so actually do sure. essentially like 60 70 percent of the maze is underwater yeah you start in like a little kind of pre-show room they're talking about how you have to get to substation b he takes you down a corridor and down a flight of stairs and you just hear water and it, yeah, it's literally up to about there. It's You're just line. wading through water. Also, like when you do go down into it, you can't see it. So you like, can't see it. First, you just sort of hear like splashes. Because there's a lot oh, of fog. But yeah, we wanted to get that one done first, so the boys could obviously have their reaction. That's the first time that's ever been done in the UK, and it's insane. It's, it's like, insane. Like, Get yourself down here and do it. That's crazy. That's like one of the best mates I've yeah. ever done. Like the, even the theming in there, incredible. The section you can like see through to other sections. It really feels like you're underground. It feels insane. It feels like you are underground in some sewers. I was about to say that the theming is just incredible down there. Like it's so, so good. And to be fair, because we did it first, it is normally darker in there, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah, the section where there's like... The sunlight obviously got through a little bit, but essentially they gave me and Archie some torches which um, you, is basically supposed to be your only light in that attraction. And uh, they're not the most reliable tools. They're not, they keep like um, they dimming and they stuff. They yeah. sometimes just go off on purpose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so they designed it so cleverly in which you're supposed to be so on edge in there. And yeah, there's actors in the water behind like, bar, like sewer bars. And at one point he broke out and like ran into us. There's one free flow where one body literally runs out splashing. Yeah, insane. Honestly, one of the most unique mazes in this country. The actors in there are so, like, they're, they're going for it. Sure, that's a world first. Oh, I think it's been done once in, like, Netherlands or Germany oh, or something. Exactly. We didn't get, there's a few elements we didn't get yeah. to get. Yeah. Even on that first run through, there was a few things that we noticed, like, weren't working for us, so we'll definitely head through again. That first scene when you go in the water and it's kind of like, oh, it's insane. Wow, what a that special maze. It's so cool. Insane. So cool. And even just putting waders on, gets you mentally so prepared yeah. for such an immersive experience, it's sick. And yeah, you spent, as Kieran said, you spend about 60, 70% of our maze wading through water. This is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 the roof, the roof is on fire. So we've just done the bottle smashing and the axe throwing in the New World Order part of um, Fia. Essentially here at Fia, you've got kind of the main screen park through there. And then in this area where you've got all the spotlights and everything, this is the New World Order area. Where essentially you've got X4, the new one, the core, and Beta Nova, which are all linked together in their storylines. Um, I won't say what the storyline is yet, I don't want to spoil it for Archie, but um, yeah, they're all linked in story, which is so cool. And yeah, it's kind of like a, a government kind of area. And yeah, X4 is of course playing into that storyline. You excited? I'm looking forward to this. It looks cool. Oh yes. I mean, I literally know nothing. So <laughs> Let's I'm head in. Terrified, Luki. We've just come out of X4, which, as I said, is another maze within this new world order part of fear and yeah there's a little surprise in the first minute or so of that attraction oh my legs are broken <laughs> it was described as a tower of terror tower of terror <laughs> airtime central <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You basically go into a lift, but it's not a normal lift. It actually like shakes about. It's a violent lift. It's a bit crazy. Yeah. And then yeah, you go into one of my favourite scenes in like any horror maze. You come out into a cave system. Over the group. And then there's just a white um, lab. We've uh, we've got a new friend. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you go into like a. You go into like a lab and yeah, it's so cool. Um, but yeah, essentially, as I said, these mazes are connected. And we found out in there that what are they making? A drug. Called? Vita Nova. Vita Nova, which is the name of the maze over here, which you'll be heading in um, also this evening. One of my favorites, that one. But yeah, it's a really cool attraction. It's about an alien called Leo, who they're like testing the drug on. Really cool, enjoy it. I liked it a lot, yeah. Very good, very Liked good. The uh, airtime. The airtime lift. Tara, Tara, mate. So Tara, Tara. So just behind me, the Titans of Terror show is going on, which is essentially Fear at Avon Valley's big fire show. And yeah, essentially, the show takes all of the different titans here at the event and basically makes them fight. And at each show, there is a different winner. So yeah, just like with kind of Halloween Horror Nights, there are different icon characters here. So you've got one kind of character from each maze. Um, and yeah, this show is very close to mine and Kieran's heart. We had a film shoot earlier this year where we filmed a lot of the content. And then yeah, Kieran put together this entire video. So yeah, it's so cool to see it come together. And uh, it's got a custom IMA score soundtrack. It sounds incredible. But yeah, it's a really, really cool fire show. You've obviously got the screen at the front with the characters, and you've got like 360 fire all around like the audience. It's really cool. Oh, so we've just come out of Malefica, which is obviously the brand new maze last year. A massive thank you to Fia and Lizzie for letting us film in there. You're normally not allowed to film at all in the mazes here. Hello! What's going on here? Hello. Hello. It's yeah. Where's your car? Oh, it's gone eight other AMC. Oh, oh god bloody hell, what are you like? <laughs> But no, fantastic to film a run through in there. It was terrifying. You boys, did you enjoy that? Yeah. Very good. It's such a dark maze, isn't it? And they just pop out from anywhere. But yeah, Nem, you say that um, should be the uh, the pre-show to 13. It's beautiful. I see a lot of similarities, but also this just holds its own. It's such a great attraction. I'm always terrified of that. Beautiful maze, beautiful. How are we ranking that in terms of the other mazes, boys? It's good. I don't like the crawling. <laughs> Didn't like the crawling one bit. That was scary as fuck. <laughs> That's uh, our second last maze of the evening. We've got one more, which Big is my, my favourite. Yeah. Vita Nova. And then after that, we'll be heading into the exorcism. Oh, I'm, oh. <laughs> I'm literally oh, shitting it. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But first up, said to Vita Nova. Hope you're all smiling. I love Vita Nova. Have you taken your Vita Nova pills, boys? I have. Of course, he's taken it. <laughs> So we have just been through Vita Nova. That is one of my favorite mazes in the world. I love that attraction. It starts off with every single member of your group being shot in their own isolation booth. I heard all of these boys being released and I was in there for a good few minutes afterwards, just on my own. The doors are shut, I like tried to let myself out. A little bit cheeky, um, but I couldn't. And then eventually I got out and I was just on my own in this very dark maze. Um, and yeah, essentially you go through different stages of like Vita Nova therapy. So there's like a shock room where the sides of the walls, they literally have shock pads on, so you can get like electrocuted. Oh, it's crazy. It's an insane, insane maze. Oh, like the little crawl floor. The crawl floor, you, you're crawling, you're squeezing through. There's strobes of like mirrors. I gave myself the biggest jump to get in there just by seeing myself. I love that attraction so much. Fantastic. And yeah, I spent most of it on my own until I met up with Nem and Kieran. 
Enjoy that. Yeah. It's There's insane. There's like the final scene, bright red. Yeah. Started walking, didn't see anyone, and then this figure starts running yeah. up towards me. It's probably the most scared I've been. It's insane, oh, it's that attraction. And yeah, it's such a simple layout. Like, essentially, you're just going back and forwards, but within the rooms, there's obviously like mirror mazes. Wow. Do you enjoy that? I was uh, gobsmacked, mate. <laughs> gobsmacked. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> it's a very so, trippy no, maze. It's, it's like a very, I think they put you in a sense of uh, discomfort yeah. right at the start. By putting oh my God. Just splitting you up. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, at the start, <laughs> because <laughs> you're just, you're, it's a very personal experience. Yeah. It's like, yep, you're off, you're getting your vaccine or not. And then um, you're, you're, and then you're, you're on your own. Yeah. Halfway through, I think I found this. Look <laughs> at that. Well, I don't know if I'd want to find him in the dark. Uh, really. <laughs> uh, but like, yeah, find him, and then I'm like, yeah, I'm gas. Got a friend now. Then yeah. separated by crawling. Split Wait, up. really? Yeah. Get in the crawl Yikes. <laughs> so yeah, you're split up many times in there. I just love it. Like it smells of cabin in the woods, and it really reminds me of cabin in the woods. Just how like messed up it all is in there and dark. It's a true or proper horror maze and it's one of my favourites in the country. <laughs> They've saved themselves a bit of money because uh, I was jumping at myself in the... Yeah, and it, I gave myself the fattest jump scare. <laughs> it was insane. But yeah, next up, we're heading in the exorcism, which isn't a maze and it is a paid for extra. We're about to be part of an exorcism. Bloody hell. I don't like this kind of thing, so I'm genuinely very nervous for this. So we managed to get into the exorcism and we just managed to get in the last few groups of the core, didn't we, Daves? We uh, clocked into a shift we twice. We did, we did. We managed to do it twice. Um, and we've still not found substation B. We haven't, but I'm sure we'll try again. But right, the exorcism, let's have a little chat about it. Obviously, as I said, it is a paid extra thing. And essentially, spoilers of course coming up, you are sat in like a circle around a bed with Evelyn Grace on it, who is a girl who has been possessed by the devil. Fortunately, bless her. And uh, the vicar is essentially trying to exercise. Is that how you say it? Exercise. Uh, exercise. Well, no, she's not on a running. <laughs> that's right, that's right. He's, uh, I think it's like he's trying to find out. Like he's trying to get rid of the devil inside of this girl, essentially. And there's loads of sick effects around the room, and they use lighting and audio really cleverly to basically just build up tension. And you had some blocks a lot flying of at you. Effects, yeah. yeah, you had closet doors smashing open, just all that kind of ghostly effects. Stuff falling over. There was a there was an effect I really liked where I don't know if you noticed the cross. Yeah. Off the fireplace was the right way up, but then it turned it upside turns down. turns over. And yeah, one of the main effects in there is like there's a nurse character and she literally gets yeeted backwards. <laughs> it's crazy. Like she flies backwards. It's, it's crazy insane. how fast. And they do it with strobes, so it's like it looks, yeah. it looks like the speed of sound. It's insane. Strobes. And yeah, the actors in there are all so talented. Like they can talk. Like this woman that was playing Evelyn Grace was literally bending all yeah, over yeah, the shop. We walked in and her leg was just at a weird angle. Part time contortionist. <laughs> she was doing all kinds of shapes. It was crazy. But no, I really enjoyed that show. I would highly recommend it if you are into kind of live theatre and like very intimate, um, like kind of theatrical experiences. If you are just a fan of the mazes, then maybe you don't necessarily need to do it. But the option is there if you want to check it out, and I would recommend it. It is, it is a crazy experience. It has you on edge. It a does. Lot. It does. And then yeah, we headed over to the core, which was fantastic again, wasn't it? We were Locked we were in jumping into that ships. water. Yeah, yeah, we love we love that mate. I think that might be one of my new favourite mazes. Ever. Ever. Wow. Just due to the uniqueness of it. I mean, where else in the world do you get into a pair of wellies <laughs> and jump in like I'd say probably a good three foot of it's water? It's insane. It's insane. And what have you got there, mate? We've got, got a lovely souvenir cup. So yeah, when you like buy a drink here, they actually come in these really nice cups. So yeah, it's just cool things like that that fear absolutely smash. It has all the icons on. Uh, I'm a newbie to this event, so I literally have never known any of them. But <laughs> I now know pretty much all of them. So there you once go. you come once, you're pretty much learning all. It's been about a year of all of us boys talking about a trip here together. And it's finally happened. I'm sure this will be a yearly trip now. We've had such a fun evening. And yeah, I'm so excited for the future of Fear. And obviously a massive thank you to Fear for inviting us all down here this evening. And yeah, thank you all very much for watching. My name's Jack Silkstone. My name's Archie D. Good, <laughs> bye.